spider silk has extraordinary mechanical properties compared to most man-made materials due to its highly organized nanostructure. Unfortunately, it is impossible to obtain industrial amounts of natural spider silk, and therefore the fabrication of artificial spider silk is of very high interest. My project is about creating artificial spider silk, which can be used as an environmentally friendly supermaterial, used as a lightweight substitute in the aerospace or auto industry, or to replace materials such as Kevlar. Using a small microfluidic chip like this one, it is possible to imitate a spider's silk production, which has been perfected over millions of years, including changes in pH, shear stress, desalting, and dehydration. The result of this project will provide an environmentally friendly supermaterial with tunable functionality, which will offer new prospects for several Danish as well as worldwide industries. Vagoxin is a commonly used drug to treat cardiac arrhythmia because it's cheap and effective. However, a key issue is that it has a very narrow therapeutic window, which means that accidental or intentional overdosing commonly occurs with potentially lethal consequences. Currently, the only available treatment is a sheep antibody, which is moderately effective, but incredibly overpriced due to a market monopoly. A single treatment of digoxin poison can cost 400,000 Danish crowns, leading to annual company profits of up to 1 billion crowns. This has also led to extreme drug rationing, even in wealthy countries such as Denmark. Thus, I propose that we use advanced antibody discovery technologies together with a cutting-edge antibody alternative that is both cheap to use as well as clinically safe. This will not only allow us to improve patient care and global accessibility to effective treatment, but also constitutes a sound business case and a key opportunity for Denmark to showcase its excellence in next-generation biotherapeutics.